and we welcome in, let's call our co-main event of the evening, Andy Lopez. He'll be taking on Michael Dew, 195 purple matchup. But as we see, Andy Lopez towers over Michael. Both returning HTS vets, both have been in the circle before, so excited to see them back. Mm -hmm. Both often go shirtless, which you don't normally see in the circle. Yeah, no, this, this is the first we've seen today, and they're both shirtless. Andy, our big boy in the teal. <laughs> Michael, looks look at to it, sit. Looks to sit. Ooh. Oh, you got Michael in. In the 50-50 leg lock positions, trying to... Ooh. You saw Andy, he had his own strained ankle, but then Michael was able to just kind of take him over for a little bit of the sweep. But this is where you see the 50-50, but... Oh. Oh. Had the backside 50-50 there. He's trying for that straight ankle instead of the heel hook there. And pushes away. But really great defense by both guys. Aggressive start here from both. Mm -hmm. The decision to both be shirtless, do you think it was one saw the other take his shirt off and he's like, and well, I'll take like, mine yeah, off I'm, too? I'm doing it. Or are they both independent decisions? I, I, I like to think it's the, the first one because I know I've seen Andy wear a rash guard here. Like one just didn't want to be upstaged. Yeah, you can't you can't let someone you know? upstage you. Be like, hey, if you're gonna be the sweaty shirtless man, I'm gonna be the sweaty shirtless man too. Exactly. So yeah. And he listens to his coaches and he Wipes off maybe some some blood or sweat something, and we separate and we engage again. Yeah, you see, Michael's got a really active guard. He's he's really using his legs. And he dives at that head. Ooh. Like, doesn't quite have anything. Like he was really trying for like a guillotine, but couldn't really wrap around. Now Michael's really trying to frame, but now giving up almost a darse, but now to this 50, or sorry, north-south position, Michael's really pushing away on the hips, but Andy's really just trying to just pressure into him. Yeah, you see Andy just really using just the pressure right there. Nice cross phase. Just trying to maybe break him down a little bit just by being heavy. Three minutes to go, three minutes in, three to go. Ooh, he's transitioning to a head and arm choke. Now Andy's gotta get that other leg over. I mean, he can finish it on top here. He doesn't even have to take it to both of his legs to the outside there. Some people have this tight squeeze where they can finish it just from there. Nice escape. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we have a bloody nose out of Lopez. <laughs> That breather might be good for both of them. They both, <laughs> both were definitely exerting themselves there. Just a little bit of an injury timeout. He's looking to plug it up and get right back out there. Great. A little bit of blood on the mat, too. Get that cleaned up. A little bit of a gusher from that nose. his hands.
We're all cleaned up. Looks like we're ready to get back at it. Knowing the dominant position when we broke there. Start back on our feet. 225 left in the first period. And we're back underway. Okay, so Michael likes to pull guard again. No surprise. He's being a little bit more active off of his feet. But Andy was really able to just get like those double unders and just steamroll over him. Knee on belly. Yeah, you see the difference between the second half of the match to the first. I think first half of the match, Andy was just letting Michael have so much space. So Michael was able to use his legs a lot better to get underneath him. And now the second half, he's a lot more pressure heavy. So you don't see Michael now can't use his frames as well because Andy took away all that space from him. Minute 30 remains. Yeah, he's looking to isolate that other arm, maybe try for either a head and arm choke, Dars. Yeah. All right, less than one minute, one minute to work here for these guys. a steam lock in there. Oh, he was able to slide his foot through, so he's just doing a standing straight ankle lock, which is really hard to do when they're slippery like that, when you don't have any other grip on the leg. But you see, you see Michael, he's turning into his own leg attack. 25 seconds to go here. Michael finally able to get that space, and he's able to attack with it the moment he gets it. Yeah, it's once you see, once, once Andy's postured up, like Michael takes quick advantage by throwing his legs in and starts attacking. 10 seconds here. Oh, and he's got an arm isolated. Andy goes for it late, but not able to find it. We head to overtime. Andy with the winner of the toss. And he's going to take the back. And we're underway. Andy transitions to that body triangle pretty quickly there. Thirty seconds, halfway through. Switches his body triangle over to the other side. Still very deep there. Yeah, you see, Michael's keeping his arms really high, which I mean, it, it does block the choke. But and he's can... able to roll through. Nice. What a transition from Michael. He's able to escape. Forty-four seconds. I'm gonna say the uh, shirtlessness helped the escape yeah. out on that one. Definitely would agree there. It's <laughs> hold hard. Very, very hard to hold a sweaty guy down. And we are underway. Michael choosing the back as well. Right. Oh. He's Almost to hold, out. But and there it is. Very quick escape. 12 seconds as we head to overtime two. Our ADCC overtime. First to a dominant position, side, back, or mount. Three minutes to work, and we are underway. Oh. Big lift oh. coming. Ooh, straight to side on a big takedown. And there it is. He gets his control for the three seconds. <laughs> Andy Lopez, a quick winner in your ADCC overtime. Andy Lopez, your winner. Great match between the two of them there in our co-main.